I received with deep sadness and a sense of loss the news of the devastation wrought by Hurricane Maria on the Commonwealth of Dominica. And I want on behalf of the government and people of Barbados to convey condolences to the Prime Minister and the government and people of the Commonwealth of Dominica on the unfortunate loss of life occasioned by the impact of Hurricane Maria. Just two years ago when I was chairman of CARICOM, I had very early in my term to visit the Commonwealth of Dominica after tropical storm Erica had impacted that country. On that occasion, the Prime Minister indicated that the impact of tropical storm Erica had set Dominica back by about 10 years. And I'm aware that in the year 2017, Dominica was still wrestling with the effects of tropical storm Erica. The devastation wrought by Hurricane Maria will now put that country in a position for all practical purposes where it has to start from scratch. And therefore the thoughts and the prayers of the people of Barbados are with the government and people of Dominica at this very difficult time in that nation's history and experience. Of course, Barbados has responded readily to the cause of uh, rendering aid to, to Dominica. We have put at the disposal of Dominica uh, two Coast Guard vessels um, for purposes of transporting to that country um, supplies from Barbadians. And of course, we've also put at the disposal of Dominica technical personnel, manpower resources, uh, as indicated by the Barbados Defense Force and by the regional security system to ensure that we do our part in helping that country to stabilize in the first instance and then to start its trek back. I want to commend Barbadians for the generosity of spirit which has been evident ever since the passing of Hurricane Maria. The readiness with which Barbadians have rallied to the cause of Dominica and have been assembling supplies for sending on to Dominica is to be commended. And I want to place on record my gratitude to Barbadians for that public spiritedness and that selflessness, which of course is essentially Barbadian. We will continue to monitor the situation, to communicate with the government of Dominica, and to respond in every way we can to the effort to get that country, that sister CARICOM country, back on track. We've had a very turbulent hurricane season so far, and it makes a point which we as CARICOM leaders have been making for some time in the international community, in those fora in which our voices are heard from time to time. We are vulnerable countries in this region, and assessing us on the basis of how our economies are doing at any particular time is misleading because all of our gains can be wiped out in a few hours by a serious hurricane, um, as is now the case with Dominica, as was the case some years ago with Grenada, Jamaica, and others. And therefore, when we talk about vulnerability and the use of a vulnerability index to determine our eligibility for concessional aid, 
that is what we're talking about. And Hurricane Maria makes the point more eloquently than any of us could have made it. The other point I want to make is this. When an impact is felt in Florida, or an impact is felt in Texas, or in Louisiana, in the United States of America, as was the case with uh, Hurricane Irma, these are local events. Florida is a local place in the context of the overall United States of America. Texas is a local state in the context of the overall size and, 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 and complexity of the United States of America. And so too is Louisiana. When a CARICOM country, though, is impacted by a hurricane, there is nothing local about it. It is national both in terms of its echo and in terms of its reverberation. Every single household, every single community is affected when uh, a CARICOM country uh, experiences a hurricane. And therefore, we have to view these things slightly differently than they are viewed or can be viewed in countries much larger than ours. Our whole community gets involved when we experience uh, a hurricane impact. And therefore, again, we have to be viewed differently from larger and better resourced countries when we have to go through these things. Because it's not only a question of rebuilding property or re reacquiring property. It's also a question of rebuilding self-confidence and, and getting communities back together uh, in a coherent and in a solid way. So I think that there are some lessons to be distilled from the experience of Dominica. As I said, the system is not yet, yet over, not yet passed. Uh, the old days of June too soon, July stand by, August come it must, September remember, October all over. Those days are past. Only in 2010, uh, Tropical Storm Thomas, uh, very late in October, reminded us that those days are past. So I just want to urge Barbadians at this time to continue to be vigilant, to take seriously what they hear coming from the Meteorological Office, to follow the guidance given by the Department of Emergency Management, and to use their own experience, their own wisdom, their own common sense to prepare themselves in the event that our card is pulled, in the event that our time comes and we have to face one of, the, one of these very devastating impacts. But I want to say thanks to all Barbadians for the calm and the level-headedness which I have observed during this very difficult period. And I want to say thanks again for the public spiritedness and the selflessness and the, the sense of community evident in the readiness of their response to the challenges being faced by the people of the Commonwealth of Dominica. Thank you very much.